Guys, my name is Samir Muhammad, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a SharePoint online document, review the checkout feature, modify the document, and finally limitations of editing them online. If you're looking to understand the check-in checkout feature in more detail, I have a video just for that, and you will find a link to it in the description below. What I have is a document that I want to edit, and since this document library enforces check-in checkout, I gotta make sure that it's checked out. The document has to be checked out before I can go ahead and edit it. If not, it's gonna stop you from editing it on this page here. So any changes that you do here are going to be saved automatically and then you can see the saving status up in the top over here. If you wanna browse back to the document library that you came back, that you came from, then click on SharePoint Documents over here. It's gonna take you back to where you came from. Also, there's another option over here for Simplified Ribbon. So the ribbon that I see right now is not a simplified ribbon, and this is a pretty typical SharePoint uh, Office uh, Office, or, or actually a Word ribbon. And I can select any of this and I can pin it down, and it's, it's pretty much how it is in Microsoft Word. But if I wanna have a simplified ribbon, which comes with SharePoint Online, click on this, which is enabled by default, and what I see over here is a ribbon, which is I can do exactly the same thing which I was doing just now, which is modifying the styles, but over here it's a little different. I will have to you know, just browse through that and then click on the menu options here and then pretty much click on the styles and anything. So clicking on SharePoint Documents is going to take me back. And once I'm done editing it, then if there is check-in, check-out enable, then I have to make sure that I check in the document back again. So some of the limitations of modifying these Word documents and SharePoint Online or Word Online is uh, these documents cannot be greater than 10 MB and these documents have to end with X, which is the newer version of the Office documents. If it does not have the X towards its end, then you cannot modify these documents in uh, the online version. And finally, if these documents are like, for example, Excel documents has got macros in it, then those macros would not run. The macros will run only in the desktop version and not in SharePoint Online. If you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to leave me a comment.